Hey guys, Shane here, CryptoFish YouTube channel. So today we're going to go over a little Ether One coin mining uh, review and go over master nodes with it. All right, guys, be back in a bit. Hey guys, before we go on, um, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell. I got something going on called Bitcoin Fridays, where I give away Bitcoin every Friday. So you're going to want to subscribe and hit that notification bell, so when the Enter to Win video comes out, you'll be notified. All right, let's get into Ether1. All right, so Ether1, um, I hadn't really even heard about this coin. A member of the community uh, brought it up to me. I think it was yesterday, left a comment. Um, so I said I'd go ahead and check it out, which I did. Um, so here we are. Uh, decentralized everything. Uh, Ash Pal algorithm, proof of work. Um, no ICO, no pre-mine. Application-specific masternodes, end-to-end -end decentralized hosting, dApps, and the, the uh, ticker is ETHO. So the project, uh, imagine a world where social media content was completely held in the public domain and was 100% immutable. Uh, imagine a voting system that was completely unhackable and run with complete transparency. That would be really nice in today's uh, world, at least here in America. Imagine a version of the internet where Google's, Facebook's, and Amazon's didn't control the majority of all web content and traffic flow. Uh, the idea of a completely decentralized, democratized web is not only a utopian dream, but now achievable. Our project aims to bring all this together by providing a streamlined, completely decentralized development and content hosting platform that is usable by anyone. So I thought that was kind of neat. Um, there are other projects that do kind of similar things, but... I was looking over on their Bitcoin talk right here. Here's the page. By the way, all the links to all the stuff I'm going to show you is going to be below this video in the description. So don't don't worry about trying to figure out where it's at. Um, so I was reading through the Bitcoin talk. There's a lot of pages, a lot of comments. Um, one thing they are trying to do is um, bring their own top-level domain. TLDs, like on the Internet, a top-level domain is a .com, .net, or .org. So over their um, project in their little decentralized web, uh, I guess decentralized type internet, I guess it would be, um, like their like bitcointalk.org right here, on their actual, um, over their system, it would be bitcointalk.dec as for decentralized, and of course there would probably be other um, TLDs after that. But it would be like its own little internet over their, um, over their system, over their uh, blockchain. So I thought it was kind of neat. So I decided um, I would try mining it, which we'll get into in a, here in a little bit. Um, here's their network status, which I thought was kind of neat as well. Just goes over what's going on, transactions, um, gas spending. I don't really know what that is, but here's the difficulty up and down, um, block propagation, block time, etc. stuff like that. Just kind of shows you what's going on. So um, they do do master nodes as well. Um, here is the uh, some master node information there on masternodes.online. Uh, it's 15,000 to get the top tier master node or 5,000 for the lower tier uh, coins. So you're looking at daily income uh, at the top tier of two dollars sixty-three cents, um, about eighty bucks, seventy-nine, eighty dollars a month. I think the ROI on that was, let me think. I think it shows it down here, 149 days to ROI that, and I think it would cost you what was it, three hundred ninety-three dollars if you were to buy those coins outright to get your own master out. So I thought that was. Pretty cool. Not a bad ROI, not a bad turnaround time. Um, here is the actual price of the coin right now, Live Coin Watch. You never heard about that site either. Uh, so right now it's just under uh, three cents a coin. 
And here's LiveCoin main, main page, which I kind of liked. I'll leave a link uh, down below as well. You can change 7-day, 30-day, 24-hour, but that's kind of getting off the um, topic. So how do we mine this coin? So this is uses the um, basically what Ethereum does, the Ethash algorithm. So you'll want the Claymore miner. Uh, you can use that for both the AMD and NVIDIA rigs. Um, I'll show you how to do it on Windows right here. So you're going to want to go here, which again, this link will be down below. Zip Archive, the latest uh, Claymore Miner is right here. So you'll double click on this right here and it will download it to your desktop. So once it's downloaded, here it is right here. I've already put it in my folder. If you've seen my other videos, Miners, okay? So there's the um, Claymore there, right there. So you would go click that. You would click Extract All. I changed my file name to something much shorter, which I'll show you here, Ether1. Just makes it easier. So when I do all these single miners, um, like Stellite Miner, you know, stuff like that, Micro Bitcoin, Ether1, I just do it like that, create their own little folder. So if I want to mine that coin, I just click on that folder and I know which, what is what. So we, once it's unzipped, we go inside. And all we're going to need to do is you're going to open up Notepad right here, real easy, which I've already done. So you'll open Notepad, and let me show you here. So here's this run.bat file. So once you open up the Notepad file, you'll take this, which again, this um, mining information will be down below alright so don't worry about trying to figure out all this stuff right now the only you'll paste this in to your open up notepad file you know you just paste it in and you click file save and you're gonna of course want to save it in that folder like here is um let's find that folder Miners, Ether1, then you'll want to save it in here, and just for purposes of showing you, I will call this one run2.bat. Make sure it's .bat as a batch file, all right? You would click save, close it out. So now, as you can see, I got the run.2bat file, and all you got to do is double-click on it. The miner will pull up. Attack, um, connect to the uh, mining pool, show you the cards, and then um, voila, it will start mining. It's as simple as that, okay? Straightforward miner. So the mining pool I'm using is um, We Mine Pool. It's one of the top ones on their site. You scroll down here. Here's a list of the mining pools. I just picked a top, a top one. It does about 25% of the um, total uh, hash for that coin. But well, those are all the pools right there. So here we are in WeMine Pool. This is my NVIDIA rig running right now. Let me click refresh. So my NVIDIA rig is doing 53.8 mega hash. I started this maybe an hour ago. And I've got about three and a half coins right now. Um, which really isn't too great. But anyways, just showing you guys how to mine this coin. So let's go ahead and look back at the miner. Here we go. Hasn't found a share yet, but it will eventually. You guys get the point on that, though. So that's as easy as it is to mine that coin. Um, here is the desktop wallet. There's two different types of wallet. One's an Ether wallet, and uh, one's a desktop wallet. They only got a wallet for Windows, and then they got basically this Ether wallet, which you can go through online. It's kind of like a paper wallet type thing. Again, all the links to this will be um, in the description, okay? So when you set this miner up, so 
when you set your miner up and you create your run.vat file, all you're going to do is change your e-wallet address right here. That's my e-wallet, so you can definitely want to change that so you're not paying me. And the e-worker right here, which is optional, I just call mine Acer Laptop. The other one's NVIDIA Rig, or you can just leave it blank if you want. Um, but like I said, once you're done there, just save that file. Got your... Um, e-wallet address in there and you'll be good to go and this is your hash rates miners I think they have got 38 miners I fall about in the middle with my rig should be about right here yeah F111 71.9 so anyways guys um, guess that's going to be it. I think that's all I wanted to go over in this. Yeah, anyways, all the links to this will be down in the description below, so don't worry about it. I'll uh, give a full breakdown of uh, everything we just went over in the description, all right? All the links and everything else. So again, guys, um, let me know what you think. Be sure to hit that like button if you liked the video. Be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and um, it really is as easy as that to mine this coin. All right. So without further ado, I will see you guys in the next video. All right. Take care, guys. Bye.